You want to make some cash and add engagement to your live stream? There's nothing easier than adding alerts. People love to see their name on your live stream and it's even better when it supports a streamer that they love. It's totally free and a win-win situation for you and your audience. In fact, it's so easy. I'm going to show you how to do it in less than 10 minutes. So you know what? Let's get to it. There is a link in the description to the site that we're going to use to add our alerts. And like I said, it's totally free to use. Let's set them up. So we're going to start out here in Stream Elements. And I'm using Stream Elements as opposed to Stream Labs because I just feel like it's easier to set up your layout and figure everything out. So you're going to just go to Get Started and you're going to select the platform that you want to stream to. Now I've already got my stuff all set up. So it's not going to really ask me a whole heck of a lot of questions. But basically, you're just going to sign into your Twitch or your YouTube account like you normally would. And there you go. So once you get in here, uh, we're going to go to Streaming Tools. And we're going to go to Overlays. And you're going to see I have a bunch in here. And that's all right. We're just going to ignore these. You're probably not going to have any, needless to say. We want to build one for our live stream. So we're just going to go ahead and click New Overlay. And... We live stream in 1920 by 1080. You can drop this down and select other actual ones, but that's what we live stream in. So that's what we're gonna set it at. We're gonna click start. We wanna come up here. And of course this right here represents our screen. So we can zoom in and out and you can see the full screen right there. We're gonna add a widget. We're gonna to go to alerts and we're gonna add an alert box. And that's right here. We can make this alert box bigger or smaller. We can do whatever we want. And we can test our alerts to see what they're going to look like by just going right here and we can go to a subscriber event or whatever. And there you go. You can see what these alerts look like. We can go into our subscriber alert right over here by clicking on this gear. We can adjust it so we can change the image. We can change the video and make it whatever we want. Right here is the layout for the text. So we can literally modify these in any way we want, but we're setting up alerts in 10 minutes. So we're just going to use the alerts that already exist and we'll run through and we'll show you exactly what they look like. So that's what a tip event looks like. And that's what a super chat looks like. And let's do a member event. And that's what that looks like. And these are going to just run one after the other. And there you go. And you can hear, if I put this on, you can hear what sounds it's going to make. Now, if you want to do labels that say, you know, that someone did whatever, what we can do is go and click this plus here and we can add some labels. So let's add a latest subscriber label and they put it right up here and we can just drag it and put it wherever we want. So we're going to put these along the bottom and maybe we want a latest tip so our latest tipper and we can bring this down and put it right here and alerts and maybe we want um, latest super chat and we can put this down here and we can even do a latest member or if it if you're doing twitch it's obviously called a sponsor and we can put that down here as well. Now you can place these where you want. You can use the arrow keys to move them around. Very simple to set these up. And there's all kinds of other ones that you can use as well. So if we wanted to do a countdown or merchandise goals or something like that, we could add that. But this video is going to be 10 minutes. So we're already set. We're going to click save and we're going to put our overlay name in here. And we're just going to call this one alert tutorial. And we're going to click save. And there we go. All we need to do now is copy our URL right here. And then we can go into OBS. So right here is just another tutorial one that I had set up that I'm going to use to add our alerts. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and click the plus and create another scene. We're going to call this alerts. And I'm going to click the plus on here. And we're going to go to browser. And we'll call this alert scene and click OK 
And all we have to do is paste our alert in here. That is the text that we got from right here. When we click copy on this overlay, that's what we're pasting right in here. Then we want to set it up so it's 1920 by 1080. And we want to control the audio via OBS because we know it makes that little sound. So we want that, if we want our audience to hear that, we've got to put that in there. And we can click OK. And now we're going to see if we go into our alerts right here, all of our labels are down there and they're ready to go. So all we have to do is go into our main scene, click the plus, and we can go to our scene and just select alerts, click OK, and boom, now they're in there. And we can go to scene one, click the plus, go to scene, add our alerts, and boom, now they're in there. Now this might not be the best example of how I should be using this, but it was the one that I already had made. So, and we're gonna go into this one, we're gonna go scene, and we're gonna go alerts, and boom, we're adding it in there. And of course it makes this text tough to read. We could theoretically go back in here, and we can just change this text to black or whatever we want. That's really easy to do, you just select the text, it gives you the latest subscriber and the name, and we can go here to text settings, and instead of having this white, we can just make it black. And there we go. It's really pretty simple to do, and I'll show you. I'll just leave this one black, and we'll go over here and click save, and then when we go back into OBS, you can see that text is black. So we can change this up, we can add drop shadow, we can do all that stuff. It's just an example. Now we've created our alerts in about 30 seconds and they're already all in every one of our scenes because we created this scene and we just nested it in there so if i go over here and i'm just going to grab this and pop it right there and boom and now all i have to do i'm going to go ahead and click on here and we'll zoom this out so you can see the full screen and now all i have to do is click emulate and we can go with a subscriber event and you're going to see it there it is popping up right over there. We've done it. We've created alerts in less than 10 minutes. Really easy. Now the one thing you're gonna run into is if you don't set up your resolution properly. So in Stream Elements, we set this up at 1920 by 1080. If we do not put our proper resolution in here, if we don't put our proper resolution in here, you're going to have problems where this stuff doesn't show up. So just be aware of that. Has to be the same resolution in your stream as it is over here in Stream Elements. You'll also notice that when we go into each one of these, the alerts are on top. If we were to put the alerts down here, you can't see them. We could put them over the color source, then they end up behind me. So we physically have to make sure that the alerts are on the top layer so that we can see them properly. And those are the things that can possibly go wrong. Other than that, you just set up alerts in 10 minutes. Pretty easy. I told you it was so easy. If you wanna see how to create custom alerts, you should check this video out. Now maybe I didn't answer all your questions in this video, but you can always reach me every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the live stream where I answer your questions. I look forward to seeing you there. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.